Hi, my name is Michael and I wanted to show you how I built this speedometer for a flight simulator. This speedometer will be a part of my home flight simulator of a Cessna 172 aircraft, the construction process of which I will be presenting in upcoming videos. The speedometer has a scale in knots from 0 to 220 knots and a corresponding scale in kilometers per hour. To build this speedometer, I used pre-made components purchased online, as well as designed and manufactured my own parts. Some components were printed on a 3D printer, and others were made using a CO2 laser, uh, which I use for uh, cutting and engraving. Here's what the assembled speedometer looks like. Off camera, I will disassemble it into its components, then try to describe its working principle and assemble it again. Finally, I will demonstrate its operation with the flight simulator. I managed to disassemble the speedometer into parts. Here's what we have. A casing printed on 3D printer using PLA. There's nothing special about this casing except for the openings for the USB, a reset button and some mounting screws, speedometer needle, cut and engraved, with laser uh, from engraving laminate. A dial, also made from engraving laminate and also laser cut. I designed the project myself. I wanted to achieve the effect of a universal speedometer for various applications, hence uh, the two scales. Various types of screws and spacers, all metric. A frame, allowing the speedometer to be mounted in standard 80mm diameter hole. A glass made from plexiglass. Electronics, an Arduino Nano board, which allows us to connect the counter to a computer and flight simulator, a hole sensor to determine the zero or home point of our speedometer, a controller and 28BYJ48 step motor that will move the needle, some printed mounting elements for the electronic electronics, uh, some wires, and other structural components. Here is a brief demonstration of how this speedometer works. The stepper moves a set of number of steps to the left or right. To illustrate this, I uploaded a demonstration program to an Arduino to show how the needle moves, as you can see. An additional component here is the hole sensor. The sensor detects the mag magnetic field of a magnet embedded in the arm and sends a signal to the Arduino board. Uh, this allows the system to know the home position of the needle. As you can see, here is the magnet, here is the hole sensor. And the hole sensor detects right now a magnetic field of a magnet. Actually, the speedometer is already connected to the simulator and works, responds and correctly measures the speed. 
In the next video, I will try to show how I configured the speedometer to communicate with the uh, simulator. And please subscribe.